How's it going everybody? Adam here at Maple Monkey Media. We are back in the kitchen today for another episode of Cooking from the Garden. Hopefully you checked out my last, what was it are we on now? I think we're on episode five. Be sure to check out the previous four episodes, lots of canning, and we did uh, stuffed bacon wrapped peppers from the garden, awesome stuff. Be sure to check those out, link will be in the description below. Today though, we're getting into, we're getting into a bucket of banana peppers that we have here. So we have coming on three pounds of banana peppers mixed in with a couple hot wax. We're not sure the difference between the two, so we'll find it when we eat them, but we're gonna get into doing some water bath canning, uh, getting our banana peppers all good to go. If that interests you, stick along, hit that subscribe button and follow for more. Uh, the actual step-by-step -step recipe and ingredients and everything will be on my Facebook page, Maple Monkey Media. Be sure to give that a follow for behind the scenes footage and all kinds of awesome stuff. All right, let's get into today's video, cooking from the garden. Woo. So the first order of business is obviously pick your peppers and get them all washed up. So we got them washed up. Next thing, we're gonna get them over here on the counter and we're gonna start cutting them up. So the recipe over here is calling for one pound of banana peppers. So there, that's fine. A little over two pounds right here, 2.2 pounds. So we're gonna get those off. And the next order of business we're gonna do is we're going to just de-stem them and then we're gonna cut them into half inch slices. The next order of business, we're just going to uh, give it a slice and we're going to just uh, de-stem them. It says, hi there, I'm down here. <laughs> So we're gonna give these a uh, chop, we're gonna de-stem them. It says you can take out some of the seeds, if not all the seeds, but uh, I believe we're gonna leave them all in. And after we have them de-stemmed, we're gonna cut them into half inch slices. These are the ones that we're gonna try to save the seeds from. So we're gonna try and save the seeds from uh, from our peppers here. Uh, these are the biggest ones that we have. Good size compared to my, uh, my hand there. So um, they say leave them on the plant to get them as ripe as possible. This guy here is starting to turn color. Um, some of these are banana peppers, some of these are hot wax peppers. Gonna have to tell by the smell, but won't tell till we get cutting into them. So we'll try to save the seeds for, for next year because we absolutely love this. And uh, whether or not it's a success, you know, it's, a, it's yet to be determined. So here we are, our half inch rounds of banana and hot wax peppers just because they're so similar. And here's the seeds that we're gonna be trying to save for, uh, for the first time from those. So we'll go on to the next task and see what that is. So the next order of business, our peppers here, we're gonna fill that with cold water and we're gonna dump a bunch of ice in there and that's going to help keep the, uh, the peppers crisp for when we're doing our canning. Ice cubes. Put those in there. And like I say, this will keep our uh, our peppers crisp, so we're ready to use them to the uh, to the water bath canner. So we'll uh, we'll just let that sit there and get nice and cool. Okay, the next order of business is we got our water bath canner here. Uh, after the next step of this, we'll be we'll be cooking up our syrup, our sauce, and then we'll get the, all of our pepper rounds into our water bath canner, and uh, and we'll go from there. So we're doing a double batch with this recipe because we have more peppers than uh, the, the pound that they're asking for. It's saying to use one pound, so we have a little over two pounds. So everything that it says in the book here, we're gonna double it up, and that way we're gonna have double the fun. It's calling for four jars, four pint jars, but like I say, we're gonna double it, so we're going to, uh, we're gonna do eight. I'm gonna get these into our water bath canner, get those filled, get that to uh, a kind of a rolling boil, and that will decontaminate everything that we need going forward. All right, we have our jars here. Let's get them simmering on the stove. 
Okay. Those aside, and what's the uh, the recipe book calling for next? In a saucepan, bring the vinegar, sugar, mustard seed, and celery seed to a rolling boil. Perfect. So we have our saucepan here. We already have four cups of vinegar in it, and we're going to double up the recipe. So here is the other four cups for a total of eight cups of vinegar in there. We need uh, two and a half cups of granulated sugar. So original recipe is looking for one and one quarter cups of granulated sugar. But like I said, we're doubling it up. We're doing a double batch here. So we're looking for two and a half cups of granulated sugar. And there's two and a half. So we'll dump that in here. There we go. Next, we are going to add in our mustard seed and our celery seed. So they are looking for one teaspoon of mustard seed and one teaspoon of celery seed. So double that up and that's two teaspoons of each. This is our mustard seed right here. One teaspoon. Two teaspoons. Celery seed right here. One teaspoon. Two teaspoons. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your own. What's it say after this? Let's say in a saucepan, bring that, uh, bring it up to a rolling boil. All right, we'll do that. Da, 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 da. Bring this over here. Bring that up, put her on max, get her to a rolling boil. So here's our pickles. <laughs> so here's our peppers in our ice water bath to make sure that they're nice and crisp going into the next phase of our canning. We have over here our, uh, our jars being decontaminated, almost ready to go. We have the syrup that we just started here. We have it on max, getting that to a rolling boil. Okay, we have our stuff. It is uh, our syrups to a rolling boil. So we'll bring this over here. <coughs> Ooh, inhale some vinegar. Ooh -hoo -hoo. So we have some of our jars decontaminated, we're good. Uh, we're going to empty out our peppers and get those into our jars. Go. Next order of business is we're going to have to get our peppers into our jars here. <laughs> Tong fight. <laughs> Tong fight. <laughs> Keep going where I'm going, honey. You keep going where I'm going. Keep going where I'm going, honey. Hmm? That's why I'm wondering if I put too many peppers in them. I take some more. Next order of business, we have our jars still filling up. And uh, I'm just going to ladle in a nice broth here into our jars. Alrighty, even though we doubled up the recipe, it didn't give us quite enough for an actual true double batch. But as you see here, we have all of our uh, uh, peppers and our brine in here with anywhere from a quarter to a half inch headspace. So yeah, we forgot to wipe down our, our rims. So we're gonna get a wet paper towel, wipe down our rims just so we have, uh, you know, not taking any chances with little celery seed or anything on the tops. And now we'll put on our lids and our bands and we'll do those just fingertip tight. 
We have our bands and our lids on. I'm just gonna double check the recipe book to see how long we're gonna process. Place the can jars in a canner, make sure there's one inch over the top of the jars, and we're gonna process for about 10 minutes. We only can fit in five in our water bath canner. How many do we have? And of course we have six, so we'll have to do a single batch. Turn that on high, get that to a boil, process for 10 minutes. All right, we have our jars back onto the stove in our water bath canner, as you can see behind me there. And we're gonna bring that up to a boil. Once it's at a boil, we're gonna set a timer for 10 minutes, take it out, let them dry, let them cool. And then there's another batch of yum yums for the winter, all done. All righty, it's time to take these out, I suspect. I don't know, who knows, eh? So there we go. And we'll just set them aside, let them cool. All right, so here's our finished product. Probably could have packed a couple more peppers in there, but that's completely fine. We have five there. We have one more to process the Lone Ranger in there to get done. And that's another six jars we can add to our stockpile. So compared to the water bath canning that we did before, making the dill pickles and the chow chow and the uh, the cowboy candy and all that, this was super super easy compared to those. There's only only you know one thing that we're putting in there as opposed to a couple other different things. So it didn't take quite as long. So if you want to check out this uh, recipe, this will be on my Facebook page. Instructions with the ingredients and quantities and all that. Same thing, Maple Monkey Media. So this is going to be me signing off for today's episode of cooking from the garden adam here at maple monkey media just wishing you a blessed day keep that stick on the ice there is no failure if you keep on going and your dreams only have to make sense to yourself god bless and we'll see you all next time working on the bus the tiny house the cabin might be at the new homestead who knows stick along for the journey super excited to share it with y'all woo, woo, woo. cheers y'all